Welcome back to the Oaks. We are picking up right where we left off and getting the rest of the corn in the ground. Didn't see much point in skipping too far ahead. We've got rain about 7 pm. So, yeah, we need to get a move on. Got a couple of bags of seed on the Manitou which you can just about see in the distance but uh, yeah we need to get this done and then we can probably quite quickly move through time again at least until first cut of our grass fields for this year anyway um, need to decide whether it's going to be silage or hay or which one, whichever one we need to do first. Most likely probably going to be hay. But that's fine. So GPS off. Raise it up. And get spun round. There we go. All back up to the end of the headland. Get it lowered down and off we go. So where are we today? Today is Monday. Monday evening. And rarely got the house to myself, so thought I'd do a bit of recording. Try to get a little bit ahead, even if I can get 20 minutes of a video done. That's 20 minutes that I haven't got to find. Well, it won't even be 20 minutes. 20 minutes worth of footage, should I say. Um, then jobs are good and that's less time I'm going to find another day. So we've got a Attingham video recorded. We'll have an Oaks, or part of an Oaks, if we don't get it all done. When I say we, I mean me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a nice change. Um, weather's cooled down. Which is a bonus. I know we moan, don't we, us Brits, but yeah. It's a nice 20 something degrees today, so not overly hot. But yeah, all good. Can't grumble at all. So I've literally just fired this up now, um, checked sound, etc., and we are carrying on. Haven't fed any animals yet. Um, I think they'll probably be alright for a little while. But yeah, so I'll get this side done and I'll catch back when we're on the long runs, I think. That's that weird side of the field done. So I thought we might as well just refill a bit of the seed while we're near it. Oh, or indeed use it all up. There we go. So we're actually not doing too bad for fur, which is cool. Oh, just underneath. So we may make it. This is going to be a big old field <laughs> once we finish with it. Goodness me. Right, let's get that lowered down. Turned back on and head back down the field it's not actually with this size planter it's not actually too much of a big job nice straight runs for the most part but yeah can't grumble I guess really need to start thinking about where we go to Next, after Attingham finishes, I'm really, really not sure. Um, I am thinking that I want to have a play with the enhanced animal system. Because that does look cool. Probably with Maze Plus. Um, and that's as far as I've got, really, at the minute. Um, like I say, no idea where. Um... But yeah, those... I want to definitely use the EAS. Because I've seen 
Disturb starting to use it. There's a few different people you watch, or I watch, that use it, and it does look rather cool. And it brings some different level of, I guess, interaction with the animals, maybe. So, yeah, I think that is the plan. But like I say, no idea where. Um, so, a fair few weeks off yet. Um, I think we're only up to 42 nearly on Attingham so I think I said 50 would be when we end so got a while so no mad rush to think about it but yeah I'd quite like to have an idea in mind um, and then I think like with most things maps come along and you think ah I like the look of that and yeah you've kind of got some idea as to what you want to be doing so that's me plan but things may change as per normal so what else has been going on let me have a think not a great lot really um couldn't get a multiplayer done as disturbed was working away so we missed a week again but it is, it's, it's so difficult. Both work, believe it or not. And, yeah, just coordinating just the two of us is a bit of a nightmare at times. But when we do get to do it, it is a good laugh. So it's worth the wait. Um, And, yeah, I mean, we're up to, what, episode 13, I want to say, on there now. So, yeah, it's cracking through the series I guess really we, me and him should have a chat about when when do we stop how far do we go you know we've got a thousand head of cattle soon to be probably two thousand at some point so I know we're not running Maze Plus so it's you know they still eat a reasonable amount though for that uh, that quantity of cattle but yeah something we need to have a Bit of a chin wag about but we'll get to that there's no mad rush we're still both enjoying the series and the kit that we have got so let's get spun round i'll do a little bit more and we'll catch up then i've just took a bit of a break and uh i was perusing the map and uh this field number 64 caught my eye we just have a look now forget the money for a minute 105 percent yield potential it's got wheat in it so we know we can make a fair bit of money from wheat i'm tempted to buy this now to do that we would need the i forget the name of the mod is it the enhanced loan mod or in bank account or something like that but I am really tempted to buy that. So what I think I'm going to do is we'll get this all planted and then we will jump out the game and stick in the loan mod, borrow that money, and then we can purchase that field. Now, I know I said before I want one that uh, has got crop in it or hasn't got crop in it already. But um, I think now we're in a place where we've done quite a bit of seeding and planting. So it'd be nice just to have a field to look after, fertilise it if we need to, all that stuff. And then, yeah, we've just got another field to harvest and then repurpose next year. So I'm going to crack on and get this done and I will see you when we're going to buy that field. Well, last pass of the field and... We have not touched the fur. We've not had to refill that. I've bought two bags of seed, which, yeah, we'd got to probably, we were probably about four passes short in the end. So, yeah, two bags of seed purchased. And the corn, maize, whatever you want to call it, is nearly done. And I was just sat thinking, uh, and it's weird how you do, and... 
this will be a complete waffle, no doubt. But I was just thinking about the other YouTubers, content creators, whatever you can call yourself, um, who I've sort of like not grown up with, but like started the same time as. Um, and who, and who, who doesn't do anything anymore? Like I was just thinking, there used to be a chap called uh, Farm Sim Frankly. I think yes Irish chap was doing a fantastic series on Carmston and then it just stopped and you think oh okay but you don't know what's happened to people you don't know the people um something you know heaven forbid catastrophic could have happened or just gave up or didn't enjoy it anymore but yeah like people like like the other day um what day would it have been Saturday um, I can never know if I'm saying his name right. I called him Double D. Warwick, Dwar Warwick Dog. Um, a Scottish chap and has started a series on uh, Glen Lethen, uh, the new Cavalier Roy map. Um, and it was great to have his content back. You miss, I do, miss listening to people and the way they make the videos and all that sort of different thing. But, you know, there's people like, um, December Farms who, you know, we watch each other's stuff, I think um, but yeah, like, you, you don't hear from them from ages and, you know, we're mates on my friends on Discord as much as it may, can be mates but, yeah, it's just it's a weird community, that's what I'm trying to get at, is that you kind of get attached to watching um, people's content and following their journey as well as your own um so yeah just a bit of a bit of a random waffle then but yeah stick with it we'll get there in the end right cornfield is done so time to save exit load in the loan mod whatever it's called and uh, we'll borrow a uh, bucket load of cash and we are back now it was the enhanced loan system and it's by i'm going to say chisel who is actually part of the farming agency and who is also the author creator of uh, the enhanced animal system so yeah we're kind of getting into the old uh, chisel mods Chis chisel someone it's very difficult to read a name and pronounce it right isn't it disturbed um right so <laughs> let's go into here so we don't have any current loans which is always good so we need to take a loan and we can take a maximum of six million one hundred ninety thousand three hundred twenty seven pounds so what we will do is we will take 1.1 1 .1 million, no, is that right? How many zeros? Yeah, that's right. And a period of, we'll say two years, 48 grand a month, clear off. Right, let's try five years, 20 grand a month, okay. So that's the milk will cover that. Wowzers, right. There we go. Special redemption, what does this mean? Enter the amount you want to repay. Oh, uh, okay. So we can make one off payments when we're a bit flush. That's cool. Right. So now what we can do is go into here and find said field. X for farmland. Click and buy. 1.2 million pounds gone. And then if we go into precision farming and purchase the soil info for another 16 grand, we are down to 152,000 pounds. Now, nitrogen is bad, funnily enough. PH value is bad. Now, I 
I'm torn about applying pH after you've got a crop that has germinated. So I don't think we're going to do that. We'll take the hit, but we will sort the nitrogen. So let me find a piece of equipment and uh, I'll be back with you. What I thought we'd go for something a little bit different. So we've gone for the Bertrud sprayer. Um, there was one with the pack for the horseback, but it only goes at seven miles an hour. Same working width, so you know we wouldn't be uh, losing much there. But there are, or there is, sorry, should I say, a distinct lack of uh, self-propelled sprayers from the UK in the game. I think. Um, if that's one thing that I could make myself, you know, or, or request somebody to make, then that would be what I'd do, I think. I think we've got plenty of other kit, tractors, drills, all this sort of stuff. But yeah, self-propelled UK sprayers is one that I think we are really, really lacking. So, all unfolded. Turn her on. And off we go. Try not to hit the tree. And I think we'll go for... Let's go for about... 12... 13 miles an hour. There we go. Yeah, just fancied using a different piece of kit. I think... Uh, I don't think I've used this. I may have used the... Oh... And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, we don't use massive sprayers in the UK because somebody put pylons through the field. Um, best lay plans and all that lot. Let's just get to here and turn off. Do we think there's a collision? There is. Damn you, Farm Sim Briscoe. Right, um, yeah, not quite sure how we're going to get around that. I know what we'll do. We'll just pull forwards and go as far as we can that way. There we go. Turn off. We will do a half circle-ish around it and then we'll back up and do the other side I think that's probably as close as we are going to get without wiping out the boom there we go, just swing that a little bit there turn it off, reverse back up and then carry on down the field go. Oh, just touched it, it's only a kiss, it's fine there we go. Stick cruise control back on. And uh, we'll get the rest of the headland done. So headland done. And GPS course set. Just squaring off this side of the field. And you can see the contours to it. It's great. I've actually spotted that before. But yeah. Jobs are good, and so that's all off. And now, if we just turn off the sprayer for a second, turn off GPS, we'll head down here very carefully, and then we'll spin round and find track one. Oh, there we go. That's the John Deere getting back to the yard. There we go. So we will. Turn on GPS. Head forward a bit. Turn on the sprayer. And crack on back down the field. So we may need to purchase a, another IBC, but that's not a problem at all. But yeah, liking our purchase. We need to start making some cash. <laughs> to start paying off our loan was it 20,000 a month so yeah 
We need to work hard and uh, pay off that debt. So a quick refill and we're underway again. <laughs> Gotta love store deliveries. Uh, there we go. That. Turn that off. Now, I probably should have run the other way down the field. But forgot about the pylons. So we'll get ourselves manoeuvred into position. Turn on that. There we go. And we'll deal with the pylons when we get to them. Hopefully we can just sort of navigate our way between them and round. But yeah, quite liking this. This was completely unplanned. Um like to try and have an idea of <laughs> what I want to achieve in an episode. I knew we got to do the corn. Um but yeah, then I was just looking around, I was like, well, why not? Let's borrow some money. Expand the farm empire. And yeah, I'm quite glad we have actually, because it's a fantastic looking field. And it, it, it's about keeping it different, isn't it? I know. Oh, chair's creaking, sorry. It's about keeping it different and trying to do different things using different kit. And, you know, I think uh, Disturbed and I may have spoke about it, or we spoke about it off camera, I can't remember which, but we were speaking about Calmston, I think, and saying how, you know, how many times did you watch a creator work the same field, or multiple different creators work the same field? Now... The oaks is slightly different um, because it's not necessarily it's not because it's not a mod hub. Not so many people pick it up. Not so many people use it to uh, do let's plays and stuff. But it, it, it's very difficult, you know. If you stick to mod hub and some reputable sites, most people use the same equipment, um, and you know, people, popular maps. People do get drawn to them. Um, but it's about trying to differentiate, and that's what I'm trying to do here. All right, not 100% in keeping with the UK, but uh, it's still something a little bit different. So we've got a pile on there, which we should be able to navigate. So we'll back up. Find track six. There we go. Oh, I turned the sprayer off. Never mind. Turn GPS on. Ooh. Let's go forward. Turn the sprayer back on. And hopefully we get somewhere close. He says. Come on. See, so this is what I dislike about. Um, GPS and guidance steering is it's so you have to be near enough on the line for it to work there we go whereas the other ones and my mind's gone blank they're a lot easier to turn on so yeah that's my excuse anyway so yeah trying to keep things fresh hence the Wanting to use the more complicated mods, I guess. Um, like your enhanced animal system, etc. Just because that's how I got into watching Farm Sim. It was people playing on PC. Bear in mind, I was console, yes, console noob. Um, they were you do you know doing different things. I was like, that's what I want to do. So I'd be daft not to give it a go there we go let's find the middle and turn it on come on give me a break <laughs> really i think we're gonna have to there we go we weren't far off but see how much it waved all over the place right 
GPS on, sprayers on, go, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Approaching the first pylon, and we'll just try and get around it without smacking the boom one. Yes, we're going to go into the next uh, GPS rope, but that's fine. Sprayer should turn off now. There we go. And then we can just head down to the end of the headland just to catch any bits that were missed. Make our way onto the next track. And we should, hopefully, fit down this one. Ah, uh, no. Not quite. But that works. I can handle that. So we'll slow it down. We'll turn off the GPS. In fact, we'll knock the lines off as well. And then we'll just edge our way around. I'm going to hit that one. Let's just go ever so slowly round. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting even closer to it. I think what we'll do is we'll stop there, turn the sprayer off, we'll back up, get ourselves away from the pylon, and then work our way on back down the field. Well, all pylons, telegraph poles, whatever you want to call them, successfully navigated, I think. Not bad for me. And we've not got much left of the field to do. So I think once we'll do once we've done this, we'll go and we'll check to make sure that there's nothing else that we really need to be doing. And then we can crack on advancing through time. And uh, yeah, hopefully get to harvest reasonably quickly. Last bit of the field, and hopefully we'll catch all that in one go. Yes, we will. Awesome. Super duper. So we can turn that off. We can fold it up and let's have a look to see if there's a field entrance or exit down this end. No, there is not. Let that get all retracted. There we go. Turn off GPS. So we'll take this back to the yard and get it emptied out. And then uh, we'll find something else to do. So last job for today is to make sure that the cows are all topped up with TMR. Because I think we're going to be moving on into the next day. And if we can avoid feeding them between now and then, that would be good. So that's one barn done get the second one topped up won't take a lot as for some reason I think uh, when I was feeding the cows between one of the episodes I'd got a bit of a hay bale uh, left in the mix unprocessed and it just took it out the bottom so we've got hay there as well never mind it swaps back over once we top it up so we'll get backed out of here and that's where we'll leave it for today. Thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave a like. If you've not already, think about subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.